In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, access a course in IntelliJ that you can actually train programming skills in. All right, so you have your, your, your opening screen of IntelliJ. This happens when you close a project or when you first open IntelliJ. You might have some projects here. But what we're going to do first is make sure that you have installed the Intel EDU plugin. So you can find it here. You go to plugins on the left hand side, then to marketplace, and then type EDU. And you'll see the EDU tools. All right. And then just click on install, and that's going to be installed for you. In my case, I already installed it, so it's there. That's the first thing. It has to be installed. Now, then you want to go to my courses and start a new course. Once you start a new course, you have several options for courses, right? I, um, uh, you can go to community courses, to uh, Stepic, uh, which you need to create an account on the web, but it has a lot of good courses in many programming languages. You can go to Coursera, Check.io, etc. But you can also go to my courses. So if your uh, teacher shared a course uh, via the web, they shared it using a zip file. And you would go to my courses and open course from disk. That's the choice that you would get if you're not going to any of these online places. Uh, <clears throat> in my case, I have a course right here in this folder. If I go down, here it is, OP review. That's the course that I want to do. And I'll click OK. It describes a little bit of the course when it was created, and I can click on Start. Once I click on Start, this project will open. The, wind, the IntelliJ IDEA will open, and um, the course will appear on the screen. Let me just see if I can make this a little bigger. That is a rather small real estate space here. All right. And what happens with this is, well, there's Gradle's going to build this thing a little bit, and you, you might want to wait till that happens. So what happens here is you have a description or a set of description or a set of instructions of what to do. For example, create a constructor for the shape for shape that takes in a string as the name of the shape and sets the name variable accordingly. And here's your shape file. You can see right here, shape.java. It has a bunch of things that you can read about. And then it has here a to-do list. If you cannot see what it says, it, you can always hit enter and enter and then you can see what happens here. And what you need to do is to implement a constructor that takes in a string a parameter and sets the name. So here's some instructions. Okay. So if you want to, um, if you want to, you can grab this comment, right? And just replace this with code, right? So you would say public shape string name or something like that. I forget what, what the instructions were. And then you say something along those lines, right? So that would be the constructor. You click the constructor and it tells you, you know, there's two related problems. What could, the, what could those be, right? So you finish this, writing this, and then you can just simply, you know, click the check button here. And you will see that it says check incorrect, compilation failed, compilation failed. Why did it fail? Well, we can see the to-dos here. There's like this little screen to-do here. And it says one found to-do item in one file. Well, there are no to-do items here, so maybe in Square. Okay, so let's go to Square. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, there's the to-do. To do complete the square class, add variables that you need, yada yada yada. So here in the instructions is how to complete the square class, right? And I have to do a bunch of things. Once I do them all, I can check. And if something's going wrong, I will probably get the messages of what's going wrong around here. Now, 
if I want a little clue, I can pick a solution. And that's one big solution that I can peek at if your instructor has allowed peeking a solution. Okay? The idea here is that you code and you check. You code and you check. You code and you check. Now, these are uh, courses are divided in tasks. So if you open your course, here's the, the first task. Inheritance, it has your, your first task with shed and square. Then you have uh, polymorphism here has no tasks, and interfaces here has no task. But if they had tasks, they would be with this symbol, and there would be more tasks to um, execute. And that's basically how you do this. Now, you can combine this with, say, for example, version control, okay? And, um, for example, create or share your project on GitHub and upload this onto a project and to a GitHub uh, repository of your choosing. If you want to know how to upload your project to a repository, you refer to that video in this series. This is now a project like any other project, so you can just upload it, no problem. All right? I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next.